2008 Toyota Prius. I was recently driving the vehicle on the freeway and I got a check engine light for a P0A93, which is inverter cooling system performance. I didn't really diagnose it a whole lot. I just Googled it and it came back with an inverter pump failure, which seems to be extremely common on these vehicles. Just a quick tutorial of how to remove it. First step, you're going to remove this plastic cover, which is going to contain a few screws or clips. You're going to pull those out. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've seen a couple videos where people remove these brackets for the inverter itself, lift it up, it'll give you access to it. I decided to remove the headlight. It'll be a lot easier to remove it and install it. So you're gonna have one bolt over here for your headlight. You're gonna have, I'll go ahead and remove this. You're gonna have another bolt behind here after you remove this clip and this bolt. You will have bolt right here going up you will have one other bolt here you don't have to remove the complete bumper you can see it flexes slightly which is enough room to remove the headlight so once you have these removed you will have one two three four five different connectors once you disconnect those you'll be able to remove the headlight out that gives you complete open access to your inverter pump. You're going to have three bolts that retain the inverter pump. All these bolts that I'm talking about, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Here's your inverter pump. You're going to have a bolt here, here, over here, and one connector. Once you remove the bolts, the connector, this is your pump, full access to it. I'm waiting for the new one to come out. It's uh, out for delivery. Once I receive it, I'll go ahead and finish the video on the install. I bought these clamps probably 10 years ago. Very handy to have, I recommend them, which will pinch off the hoses. So when we do remove the clips, we won't lose as much coolant as you would without them. This pump um, looks like it's been replaced before. The reason why I say that is the bolts that retained it, they were not tight, some of them were loose. I picked up the pump for $24 on Amazon. I will continue the video once I receive the product. As you can see, everything's reassembled. I fastened the pump and installed it, put the light back on, a couple clips by the bumper, and this plastic cover. I've actually been driving the vehicle for two weeks now after the install. Check engine light has not came back, and before the light would come on every day after it reset it. So I would say this is a confirmed victory. Um, the pump was $24 on Amazon. Very easy to install. You can see it down there. It'll probably take you less than an hour.